Today we're going to be talking about how to perform the titration leak test. So before you guys get started, you do need to gather two materials on your own. Um, the first is going to be a small beaker, and this is what you're going to be using for water. Um, and then the second thing is going to be just a stack of five to seven paper towels. Um, you're going to be needing this uh, during the leak test and also when you're cleaning up. Okay, at your station, you should already have a waste beaker, which you will be labeling. So just get a mask. Uh, get a piece of masking tape from your instructor and then you can label this as waste. There should also be a mini funnel and you should also have your titration set up as well. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your small beaker, the one that you obtained, and then you're just going to fill it up with a little bit of water, around 50 milliliters should be good. If you go over, that's fine, it doesn't need to be precise. Um, the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to make sure your burette is closed and you're going to do that by making sure this bar is sideways this little blue bar okay now if the bar is straight up and down it means that it is completely open if there's a little angle that means the water will drip but we want to be completely closed so we're going to put it sideways and that's going to ensure that our burette is closed all right so once your burette is closed and you got your water what you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling up the burette with water and what you're going to want to do is first, you're going to very carefully um, move the burette off the edge of the table, so just like this. Okay, just so that the stand is right here and the burette is off the table. Now, you want to be very careful um, that the burette does not tip over. If you break the burettes, uh, you'll get an automatic zero on the lab and you'll be banned from all future labs. Just make sure you're careful of that. All right, now what you want to do is you want to get maybe two paper towels or so and put them underneath the burette on the floor. So the burette is like right here. So you can just angle it down. And you're going to put the paper towels on the floor. And that's just to make sure that if the burette spills for whatever reason, that the water falls on the paper towels and it's easier to clean up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the burette with one hand, open the clamp, and then you're just going to lower the burette a bit. Um, and then you're going to make sure that it's at a height where you can pour, pour water into the top. Let me just angle it so you can see the top. The top is right there, and you wanna just make sure it's a height where you can comfortably uh, pour water in here from, from the beaker without tippy-toeing or anything like that. So if you need to go a little lower, that's fine too. So depending on your height and what's comfortable for you and your group, you can just lower the burette. Now before we move on, I do wanna uh, talk about a couple things. The first thing is you want to make sure that the tip of the burette does not break or touch anything. And by the tip of the burette, I'm talking about this part right here. Okay, make sure that does not break or touch anything. Um, it's very fragile, so it can break and also it can contaminate things. It can be contaminated uh, depending on what it touches. So just make sure it doesn't touch anything. Again, this is an automatic zero and man. If I see you touching the tip of the burette, if you break the tip of the burette, if I see it touching something, like other glassware, um, then that's an automatic zero and I'll ban you from the lab. Okay, the other thing I mentioned this earlier, uh, make sure the burette does not tip over. So you wanna make sure that the burette, um, or the, the stand is on the table and it needs to be secure. You don't wanna actually knock it over and break the burette by um, tipping it over the table. Okay, I already have this done, but what you wanna make sure that you do is you want to make sure that the mini funnel goes on top of the burette. So if you haven't done so already, make sure that you put the mini funnel on top of the burette. Afterwards, you're going to get water from your beaker. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to carefully and very slowly pour it into the burette. All right, so what you're going to do in this step is you're just going to pour water carefully into the burette. Now you want to be very slow with this because the water will rise faster than you think it will. So you want to make sure the water goes very, very slowly. Okay, so that this doesn't overflow. All right, and that's it. You just want to pour um, water into the burette. Uh, make sure it doesn't overflow and the funnel should help you with that. All right, now that you're done with that, what you wanna do is you want to raise the burette. Again, you wanna make sure the tip of the burette does not touch anything, okay? And then you're gonna slowly and carefully move it back to the center of the table. 
And then what you want to do is you want to pick up your paper towels. And again, if you guys see, since the burette was closed, it's completely dry. So we can use this for cleanup um, and we can leave this off to the side. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to get our waste beaker and we're going to put it underneath the burette. And we want to lower the burette just a little bit so that it doesn't have to, the water doesn't need to drop too far. Again, the tip of the burette should not be touching the beaker. So make sure that it's still above the beaker like this. Um, and just make sure that you, um, as you guys notice, the burette tip's not touching anything. Again, you don't want to touch it with your hands. You don't want it touching the waste beaker. So just make sure, even though it's close to the waste beaker, that it's not directly in contact with it. All right, now for this next part, we just want to make sure that our the water level for the burette is at zero. So if you guys take a look very closely here, um, the water level is above the zero. Now we can't start measuring above zero. So what we want to do is we want to slowly open the burette. So we're going to go to the bottom. And do you guys see how our uh, burette is closed? We're going to just turn the bar slightly open and then you'll notice the water uh, pouring out. Okay, and we just want to drain it a little bit so that the water level is underneath zero. So if you guys take a look right here, you'll notice that the water level is just uh, above one. So that's about 0.8. Okay, let me zoom in so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, it's about 0.8. Okay, and anything under zero is fine. So take note of whatever number you're at. It could be 0.8 or whatever you get on your burette. That's totally fine. Um, but just make sure you make note of that and the water level is underneath the zero. All right, now this next part's pretty easy. You just want to wait one minute with the valve sideways like this. And you just want to make sure that the burette is not leaking. If the burette is leaking, make sure you inform your instructor. And what you're going to be doing is just letting them know the burette leaks and then you should get a new burette or your instructor will fix your burette for you. All right, now what you're going to be practicing um, today during the leak test is you want to practice draining your burette in very specific increments. So like we said earlier, um, the burette water level is about at 0 0.8 and you want to practice uh, getting that to a specific number. So I want you guys to practice draining it in 10 milliliter, milliliter increments. So since your burette was at 0 0.8, I want you guys to practice getting it down to 10.8. Um, and so everybody in your lab group will need to do this. You'll all be assessed on it. So again, since it's at 0.8, you want to get it to 10.8. And so just practice doing that. All right, so the way that you're going to be opening or draining it 10 milliliters at a time is you're just going to open the bar that's at the bottom. And then you're going to want to drain the water so that the water level drops. Okay, maybe you can hear the water. And as you get close to 10.8, you're slowly going to close it a little bit. Um, so that the water level draining slows down. And so you want to slow down the water level and as you get close to 10.8, you want to slow down even more. And then there you go. You can close the burette and you can see that the water level is about at 12.8. I know the angle makes it look like it's 11, but um, if we line it up, if we line it up like that, you'll see that it is 10.8. All right, and just to show you guys what I did personally on the burette is you just turn this valve, and then again, if it is straight up and down, the water will drain fast, and as you get close to the number that you wanna get it to, you're just gonna slowly turn it, and you see how it starts dripping, right? And then you can use that to slowly control the water so you get the exact level that you want. And once you wanna stop it, you just need to turn it all the way to the side, and there you go. The burette has stopped draining. Alrighty guys, so I want everybody to practice this several times, just draining exactly 10 milliliters at a time, five milliliters at a time, whatever number that you wanna work with. Um, but you want to practice draining the burette um, in very specific increments. This is what you're gonna get assessed on personally by me and I'm gonna have everybody in the group do it. So just make sure everyone has practiced doing this technique. Um, once you're all done with the lab, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open the burette and then you're going to drain all the water into the waste beaker and just uh, pour the water into the sink. Okay, after that, you're going to bring the waste beaker back and just leave it underneath the burette with the burette bar open like this. Okay, 
After that, just make sure that you wipe down all spills and wet spots, throw away all paper towels, and then show your instructor your clean lap station and obtain a cleanup stamp. And that's going to be it for the leak test. So again, the purpose of this is to make sure that you're comfortable using this equipment. Um, I want everybody in your group to practice draining the burette to exact increments, so exactly 10 milliliters at a time. You can refill the burette if you run out of water, um, and then just practice as much as you want until you're comfortable and ready to get assessed. But good luck, guys, and let me know if you guys got any questions.